Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is a little project share um, using um, some dies from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, this is one I received in the last um, design team package that I got. I haven't received mine for this month yet, so um, this is one from last time, but I've made a couple things using it, so I would like to share it with you. Um, so first off, I've, a couple of these I've shared on um, Instagram. Um, but I thought I would go ahead and give you, you know, just a more in-depth look. So this one, what I'm using is the camera um, mini album die set. Okay, it's this right here. There's all the pieces that come with it. Some more. I don't. I'm out of um, magnetic sheets, so I gotta get some more. So these are all the dies that come with it. So that's the main die I'm featuring here, but there's all kinds of other ones used on these projects. So I'll, I may not show you them all, but I'll mention them and then I'll make sure I list them um, in the description box. So, and sorry for all the noise, my bird is going crazy. And then also Rosalind's watching videos and she's singing along and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. So sorry for any noise that you may hear in the background, but that is life, huh? Okay, so this is the first one I made. Um, this one is a card. So I made this one a side fold card. Um, I'm using uh, Sunny Days on all these projects that I have created here. So um, I've also used the edge flower, edge, edge flower die for these flowers. Uh, this here, the gold is the capsella leaf. Um, these little, um, flowers here are from um, a Maggie Holmes die set. Um, let's see, this is all part of the die set right here. I used a stamp set that I had in my stash. This is a really old, look how yellowed it is, but it's a super great one. Um, it's from Crafty Secrets. I don't even know if they're still around anymore. Um, I used to be a lot more into um, vintage, more vintage type stuff as I've probably mentioned before. And so I ordered a lot of stuff from them. And um, anyway, I like this set because I was looking for something with camera things, you know, and I like that it says say cheese. And so I wanted to add say cheese on the, um, for the camera. And um, so I stamped that on there on the heart. And this is the piece that cuts out of the, this piece. So that was just the heart that came out of the center here. Um, I lined behind this one, I, behind all the different holes, it has like two hearts here, two hearts here on the bottom. I um, put some um, gold glitter foil behind there. Okay, and I have stuff popped up on foam and stuff to give dimension. So there's that. So I opened it up inside. And so I have Say Cheese, It's Your Birthday. So this is a cute little birthday card. I just lined it with plain pink cardstock in the, in the inside. Okay, so I could write a sentiment to whoever I sent it off to. I didn't put my tag on the back yet, but so anyway, that is a side fold camera birthday card. Okay, now I did another camera card, and again, I used the Say Cheese, and this one I just stamped on this empty space right there. Um, I've got some pom-pom trim around the edges. This is part of a, um, part of a embellishment that I received in a swap. And then I like added stuff to it. Um, and then I've added a little um, chipboard piece here with a lemon and some little dew drops, clear dew drops around here. This is a little bling piece from the Sunny Days collection. I don't usually use a lot of bling. I, I'm not, I don't really care for bling that much. I much prefer enamel dots, so. But I had it in the set, so I went ahead and used it there for the, for like the flash part, so. Anyway, so this card, I made a top folding card. So this one opens up like this. Okay, and then I just lined it with some more pattern paper from the thing. And I didn't stamp a sentiment in here yet, but I definitely will. And then there's the back. It's lined with some other pattern paper. So there's two cards. Okay, and then I made a mini album, which is, um, you know, what the name of the um, die is. So you can make a mini album or an embellishment or cards or, you know, whatever you want out of it. But um, this one's a mini album. This one, I actually use this wire stuff here. I have, uh, when I first started 
um, scrapbooking stuff, I bought a tool that's called a Zutter. It's a uh, bind it all tool. And so it does this kind of thing like the cinch does. Um, I bought it way back when, and, and I mostly bought it because it was pink. <laughs> um, but I pretty much forgot how to use it and I kind of squished my little things when I put it in. But anyway, um, I, I did it. <laughs> I made it work, but it doesn't look the greatest. So I, I need to either get a new cinch, get a cinch. It looks a little bit easier to use to me that, that I watched, started watching videos on it. So I got to decide if I want to buy a new one or what, but, or just learn how to remember how to use my zetter. Cause I have, you know, wires and all kinds of stuff, but anyway. Okay. So on the front here, I layered it up with some ruffled crepe paper, um, chipboard, flowers, rosette, sunglasses, this cute little, um, like, uh, what is it? Crab? from um, a set of, I think it's from Jolie's, is it? Yeah, one of these sets that I have, super cute. Um, so I added one of those on there, a little cabochon. Um, and then this is a paper clip that I made. Sorry for all that racket. <laughs> Skittles is making a quite a racket. Um, he, uh, in fact, he was going off yesterday, he kept going screaming so loud, it wouldn't stop. So I finally went over and covered him up. And when I covered him up, he's gotten to the point now where he goes, uh, pretty bird, pretty bird. <laughs> and so I tell him, no, you're not a pretty bird when you're acting like that. <laughs> but as soon as I cover him up, he starts telling me that pretty bird, pretty bird. No. <laughs> so it wouldn't be as bad if he would talk, if he's talking, but when he starts screaming and chattering like that, it gets kind of annoying sometimes. So sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So this is a clip that I made, a paper clip. I'm using, it's one of the larger ones. Uh, you can't really see it, but anyway, it's clipped on right here. Okay, so this, I use the um, uh, layered um, butterfly um, bow die set from Scrap Diva. So I have cute little um, cabochon there and layers of tool and layers of um, like um, eyelash trim and stuff. So, and then I, um, took a piece of tool and I used my, um, <laughs> gosh, now Rosalind's singing Jigglypuff. Uh, okay. Uh, so I took my little, um, what do you call those that make the uh, fringe scissors? And so I made fringe on each side just for, so it wouldn't be too plain. So that's what I did there. Okay. So then on the inside, so the inside, I just really lightly decorated. Um, this is the backside of that, um, clip and I just clipped a couple pieces of the ephemera from the collection. This one I just have the, um, the flash and then this is a, a die for my stash. It's a Maggie Holmes die. Um, I just did uh, you know cut out the lemon and the and the and the leaves. Um, here's one of the leaves again. This is uh, just the bow part from Scrap Diva's um, bow die set and then I put a little flower that I had in my stash. It's a Prima flower from one of the Frank Garcia collections, but I thought it looked really good with this collection. So I added that right there. Everything is just tacked kind of like up here in the corner so I can still put more pictures and stuff um, under here. Okay, this is a uh, Scrap Diva die also. This is from her um, bucket and shovel set, which I love. I use it all the time in the summertime. And it's a great bucket to use for any kind of treat basket or bucket or whatever. Um, but all these extra pieces that come with it, the shovel and the flip flops and the star, uh, starfish and stuff is um, a really cute to add to project. So anyway, I made the flip flops and I just have a, a foam dot up here at the top. So this is all open underneath here. So the, the picture can slide up underneath there. This one, this page, I made it to where this page flips up and so i have more room for another photo underneath there and then i also just tucked in and i have it clipped with a little clip here a couple of these to add pictures or journaling on so there's two of them here one's the that color one's the green again from the collection and this is the um it's actually the keychain folder die set so i cut Two of those out and just tuck those down onto there because I thought that would, I just want a different shape, you know. So um, I clip those on there to either add a journaling or, you know, a longer picture. So 
And I just thought that was cute how it lifted up, so it gives me a little bit more real estate there for pictures. Okay, this page, um, I just um, added a couple of the stickers from the collection, left the rest pretty much blank. And then this page, a piece of ephemera from the collection. This is the um, outside part of this from the die set. Okay. And so that's just tucked under there so when I add a picture I can, you know, put that around something or just put it on top however we want to do it. And then another piece of, you know, ephemera from the collection. So there's that. <clears throat> All right, this page, um, I just added the um, piece of acetate that says sunshine on the bottom. So it's flat. Um, and then this is a uh, uh, rosette die that I had art made previously and I hadn't used on anything so I decided it looked really cute because it kind of looks like you know water um love that one so I just added that there so this little heart was it again it's just tacked up here so I can still slide the picture up underneath okay and then this on the last page a couple pieces of ephemera tacked on here on this camera page um this is a scrap diva bow this is a double loops double loop scallop bow from scrap diva that I <clears throat> have made. I put a um, little crochet flower in there. I didn't make that. I don't know how to do that. So I either bought it or was gifted it, one of the two. And I put that in the center and then some, some eyelash trim. Um, a little clip that I had in my stash with this cute little um, octopus. I just clip that little ephemera pieces on there with that. And then underneath the bow, I attach some more of this pretty tool. And again, I made it fringe. I fringed it. So you can kind of see it from the back here. I layered it between this back layer and the bow. Okay, and then there's the back. I just need to add my tag to it. So that is my little summer mini album. I love how it turned out. I love the cards, how they turned out too. And I like how you can <clears throat> do different um, orientations on the cards. And I will do a video soon of that. Some people have requested that I show how <clears throat> to make a card, you know, a shaped card. Um, I've sh talked about it before and showed it just a little bit, but I need to do like a whole process and show you how to, um, you know, line it up and cut it and how you can just do different things. So I will do that soon for you guys who have requested it. So um, thank you so much for watching. I'll list the dies um, from Scrap Diva that I used um, down below. Um, be watching out for a um, design team package video as soon as I receive it and then the projects that I make with it. Thank you guys so much for watching and following me and supporting me and um, yeah. Thank you so much. Hope everybody's having a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.